it was a very good Christmas for Miami Heat fans this year. Not only did they pick up a win against the 76ers without Jimmy Butler, with head coach Eric Spolstra moving to 9-0 on Christmas Day in the process, but rookie forward Jaime Hawkins Jr. once again proved he was an absolute steal with the 18th overall pick. By most people's estimation, he's been the third best rookie in the league through the first couple months, and he may have had his best game yet on Christmas. He finished with 31 points, 10 rebounds, 2 steals, and had a crazy true shooting percentage of 84%. The Heat always seem to find talent in places where it shouldn't be available, but Hakez might be their best value find of this era, and they've had some very good ones. With him being just 22 years old, Tyler Hero being 23, and Bam Adebayo still only 26, the Heat will be set up well even after the Jimmy Butler era comes to an end. People don't often think of the Heat as being set up with a super bright future, but the acquisition of Hakez really puts them in that conversation, especially considering their almost unbelievable talent identification and the fact they've always been an elite free agent destination as well. Some people have begun to refer to Hakez as a young Jimmy Butler, due to their slow, methodical play style and ability to attack defenders in one-on-one -on -one scenarios. They also both have very impressive footwork in the post for players of their height. The rookie might already be the fourth or fifth best player on this team and will only continue to get better, just like he did throughout his four years at UCLA. He shows clear flashes of star potential, and if he reaches it, he's the future of this Miami Heat franchise. Now let's take a deeper look. Before we get into that excellent rookie in South Beach, if you enjoy my content and watch a few videos of mine, think about subscribing. 96% of my viewers are actually not subscribed, so if you watched me before and enjoy the content, drop a sub and comment down below. It really helps the channel. Jaime Hawkins Jr. delivered a standout performance under the tree, propelling the Miami Heat to a 119-113 Christmas Day victory over the Philadelphia 76ers. The 2023 first round pick celebrated a night of milestones, showcasing his prowess with a remarkable 31 points and 10 rebounds, both personal bests for the young forward. Additionally, Hawk has achieved his first career double-double during the Christmas Day triumph. The historical feats continued as Hawk has secured his place in NBA history, becoming the first rookie to achieve a unique combination, scoring at least 31 points, grabbing over 10 rebounds, maintaining an 80-plus true shooting percentage, and committing no turnovers in a single game. Furthermore, he joined the elite company of Wilt Chamberlain, Oscar Robertson, Walt Bellamy, and Patrick Ewing as the only rookies to achieve a 30-point, 10-rebound performance on Christmas Day. Adding to the impressiveness of his performance was the absence of teammate Jimmy Butler from the lineup. With the six-time All-Star sidelined for his third consecutive game to, due to a calf strain, Hakez stepped into the starting role and has averaged 20 points over those three games. Does the recent performance of Miami's emerging talent establish him as an integral part of the Heat's core? The team has strategically built around stars like Butler and Bam Adebayo, and they've expressed their commitment to retaining guard Tyler Hero, at least publicly. Despite being the subject of trade rumors before even playing a regular season game, Hakez's exceptional rookie display might secure his place within the team. Drawing parallels to Hero's early career, Hakez began his rookie season in a similar fashion. Hero's scoring prowess off the bench eventually led to him being named the sixth man of the year for the 2022 season, solidifying his status as one of the key players on the current Heat roster. Hakez's inaugural season mirrors a familiar trajectory. Over the initial half of the season, his, product his productivity has steadily risen. The former UCLA standout finds himself in competition with other standout rookies, at least on the statistical front, leading all newcomers in both games played and minutes. Within the rookie class, Hakez currently ranks 4th in points per game, trailing only Victor Weminyama, Chet Holmgren, and Brandon Miller, all of whom were top 3 picks. 
While it might be premature to categorize the 22-year-old as a foundational player for the Heat, the coming time will reveal whether Hakez can sustain his development and evolve into another draft gem under the watchful eye of Pat Riley. Thanks for watching. I'm Herm. Have a good one.